identify yourself. Please identify. Glory to man. What? Hey. Glory to man. Glory to man. Glory to man. I need to use your phone. It's very important. And your uh, pay phone doesn't work. My wife I need to talk to. Let me see your hand. <laughs> Excuse me. One second. Hey! I've got one! I've been marked. I'm okay. <laughs> Becca chapter 2 verse 3 for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yaw Shai Bashim Rekakadash Shalom to the elect and the remnant of the children of Israel this is prophets in Babylon Tampa Bay Florida my name is brother Daniel Allah double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great Mastan Ruel Peace and salutations to the Akim by pushing out this word of truth and sincerity. Also, rock it out to the Aqua for our listening as well. The plagues of the Karagma. The plagues of the Karagma. As you've seen on the screen, I have all the plagues of the Karagma on the screen. As you see on the top left corner, you see the miracles of the Karagma. The second video beside it on the right is is when they have total control of you when you insert the karagma within the forehead or within your hand the third on the bottom left is when you will receive the, uh, the grievous source of the karagma and last but not least the last plague of the mall it's the thermonuclear missiles, which is the lake of fire. All right. So I'm going to bring out all the precepts of four of these videos on the screen. All right. But first, I'd like to bring out Revelation 13. But I'm start at verse 14. Okay. Because we got 14 on the screen. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 14. And the seed of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the womb by a sword and did live. Okay? So we are in the year of prophecies coming to pass, you know? 2023 you know the demon year by elder apostle tahar that you know the hopeful year that the prophecies will come to pass you know so we hope that a lot of prophecies will come to pass this year so we can um like get closer to the kingdom all right so they're going to build all this technology and uh these uh implantments like uh to make people to see again, to walk again. People with, uh, you know, severe illnesses of all kinds. They're going to perform uh, great miracles with the left hand technology, Esau Edom's technology, which is the so called white man. Because his dream is to be, uh, his dream is to live in immortality here on earth. By what? By the way of transhumanism. All right, to be half man, half machine, to to be immortal, without uh, um, without the Lord's consent, but the Lord is not going to allow that. Yahweh Shemashah is not going to allow Esau to live in immortality, you know, because 
he's not going to allow Esau to to rule for uh, for long. His kingdom is falling as we speak. You know, like Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, but before we take over the Israelites, this kingdom has to fall first. You know, so they're going to push very, very heavy uh, agendas of all kinds. They're going to make it to where people are going to be caused to uh, receive the karagma, the badge of servitude within the hand or within their forehead. And there's several companies like what Neuralink, all right, and other companies that are with Neuralink to uh, control the masses of the people of the world by by uh, by inserting, um, you know, the sketching, uh, and etching of the device within your body to watch every single movement of your body, like movement and where you're going, what you're thinking about, etc. They want to have total control of you, all right? You know, and and a lot of people will take that M-A-R-K very soon because what? Because they want to continue in this society. They want to be able to buy and sell to live on with their mediocre lives. So they're going to perform miracles as you see on this screen. I, I grabbed this clip from a movie uh, uh, Upgrade where he was a quadriplegic, which means like he was paralyzed from the neck down from a car accident and uh and his wife died and uh so he was a quadriplegic he wasn't able to move you know being paralyzed and 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 all they did was insert a chip on the spine between his spine and his brain and he was able to move again so they're gonna have crazy technology of people who never walked before who never seen seen like with their eyes before people with rare diseases that cannot be cured so-called cannot be cured and they're gonna push that very hard you know around the world and people will be like wow like why wow, the technology is so advanced and a lot of people are going to be deceived by this technology all right I'm going to bring out uh, uh, on the normal precepts of Revelation 13. I'm going to jump down to verse 16. All right. Let's grab 15. And he had power to give unto the um, unto the image of the... And he, had, and he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should, be, should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image, worship the image of the beast should be killed Salakia read that again Revelation 13 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast <sighs> should be killed sheesh gone so people who will not submit to the new world order they are going to be killed, man. Just like the story of uh, a Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they didn't, when they didn't bow down to the golden uh, uh, idol of Nebuchadnezzar. You know, we gotta have the same spirit as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, man. So, so like that right there, man, is a uh, is it's a perfect story to read. And also another good story of Judah Maccabees, you know, like not submitting to a King Antiochus uh, uh, agenda of having a one world, uh, you know, government or, or rule, you know. So there's similar stories throughout the Bible where people are were trying to have a one world government and to force everybody to submit to the world world government, you know, like the uh, like the story of, of the you know like the um, like the story of the Tower of Babel in the book of Genesis, you know? 
So, verse 16, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. All right, karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the karagma, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, six six six, which represents man, beast, and sex. All right, chai stai stigma. Okay, so that's and, and, and that's today's vibration: man, beast, and sex. That's that's today's vibration. That's Esau's vibration. All right, and on the second video, people who are going to receive the um, the karagma sooner or later it's going to have adverse effects to where they're going to have no control of their bodies. All right, they're gonna be completely brainwashed. And some people will, will be able to have rest day nor night. Imagine you being programmed and you're up 24/7, you know, and uh, and you have no control of your body, and you haven't slept for two weeks, and this machine in your head is telling you what to do, and and. And if you don't do what it says, it's, uh, um, it threatens to kill you or it threatens to uh, hurt your loved one, etc. You know, and they show you that in the movie Implanted. They show you that in the movie Upgrade. All right. So. Like those are two good movies to watch. All right. So. In, in that scene that I put on the second video, she was rebelling against the machine and the machine was like, hey, you're gonna do what I say, you know? And if you don't do what I say, I'm gonna hurt you. And the machine was messing with her uh, pain receptors and just destroying her, trying to, you know? And uh, it was destroying her. It was hurting her, you know? And then, uh, and then later on, she began to uh, like do what the machine says, and she killed people, and like, she was forced to kill people. She was forced to uh, do things that she don't want to do, you know. And um, and, and you know, like uh, and it showed that there were times that she had no sleep at all, zero sleep, and she began to hallucinate, and then she passed out, you know, so. That right there, man, that's scary. And, and and also in the movie Upgrade, it showed you that the machine took over his body and and, and the machine put him in the, um, like, uh, you know, and the machine put him in a sunken place, put him in the backseat of his subconscious. And the machine took over his body, like the frontal lobe of his body, uh, uh, of the brain, and the machine, just had 100% control of his body and he was in the back seat so this is some scary stuff man you know this is some scary stuff you think being a slave right now is bad how much more when they put something in your brain and you're not able to go to sleep for the next two three weeks and you still have to go to work all right let's go to this third video Let's grab the precept real quick. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of, of the wrath of the Most High upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the karagma of the B E A S T and upon them which worship his image. All right. So there was a grievous and noisome pestilence. All right, a grievous sore. And it, and and if you go to grievous sore or like sore, it's cancerous 
uh, uh, cysts that appears upon your skin, bloody cysts, you know, itchy, very itchy bumps that appear on you when you receive a foreign, uh, like like something foreign within your body, the, the technology that you plant within your hand or within your forehead, it's gonna, uh, you, like your body's gonna reject it. Your body's gonna reject the technology that's implanted within you. And you're gonna have grievous sores all over your body. Imagine grievous sores that itch so bad that you itch it and then it, and, and then it gets completely affected even more, creating more sores, you know, creating more histamine. And uh, it's the chemical that releases from your body that causes the itchiness. So, you know, and um, and those who know about Benadryl, ben, like Benadryl, Benadryl is an antihistamine that gets rid of the itchiness and knocks you out. But it's not gonna be enough Benadryl in the world for you to get rid of the um, that itchy, uh, disgusting sores off your body. So the histamine, imagine just imagine a person with sores all over the body and they itch it and they make it worse. That's gonna be these people who's gonna receive that coagulum within their body. All right, you know, and it's gonna get really bad. It's gonna get so bad. These people gonna look like pure zombies. No rest day nor night, and they're gonna have bloody cyst sores all over their body, looking like The Walking Dead, looking like uh, them zombies from The Last of Us, man. You know, these people are gonna be little like literal zombies okay so that's and plus also when you receive that mark that karagma you are um you can't um you can't repent you can't repent once you receive uh that badge of servitude within your body there's no repentance and let's prove that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9, which is the last plague, which is the last, uh, uh, um, you know, the very last plague out of the seven, which is the lake of fire, okay, which is the thermal nuclear missiles that the Lord is about to uh, unleash with World War Three, okay so this is the book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 9 and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his karagma in his forehead or in his hand alright the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Okay? The Lord is going to pour out his wrath. And his wrath is going to be God tear. It says the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of the Most High. Which is poured without mixture. You know how you get a bottle of vodka. And you chase and, and, uh, and people chase it with, with uh, juice. Or some form of Kool-Aid. Like just to water it down. You know like. Like to bring down the, um, uh, I forgot what it's called, you know, the, you know, you know, like the strength of the alcohol. I forgot what it's called, man. Uh, but I haven't drunk that long. <laughs> I haven't drank any of that in a, in a while. But yeah, just, you know, like the strength of the drink and, and people water it down with juice and stuff. The Lord's not going to do that. It says, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured without mixture into the cup of this inner nation. So it's going to be that bad. It's going to be like moonshine with no chase. All right? And in uh, and, uh, and the word inner nation means righteous hatred. Read it on. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You see? 
So everyone's going to see it. The elect and Yahweh Shai himself is going to see this place burn with thermal nuclear missiles. Overkill. 200,000 uh, times 1,000, which is 200 million nuclear missiles in the book of Revelations chapter 9 verse 16. 200,000 thousand, which is 200 million nuclear warheads. All right. Verse 11, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, who and, and whosoever receiveth the karagma of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, from the distance... From the distance that you no, know, the elect and the remnant of the children of Israel, Yahweh Shai, are going to watch America be on fire, completely on fire, engulfed with flames, and they're gonna watch them through the chariots, which is the so-called UFOs, which is IFOs, identified through the Bible, but to most of the world is UFOs. Un, uh, like undentified uh, flying objects or UAEs, you know. The the remnant of the children of Israel is going to be delivered by the way of the chariots. All right, and then they're going to watch from the chariots, according to Isaiah 26 and 20, the chambers, and they're going to watch America to be completely destroyed with fire. You know, and I'm gonna end it on that. Revelation chapter 15 verse 1 and I saw another sign in heaven great and marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues for for them, for in them is filled up with the wrath of the most high and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and what is that sea of glass the lake of fire thermal nuclear missiles America will be engulfed with thermal nuclear fire that's going to be the end all be all of the beast system and everyone who took the karagma all right that's going to be the end of uh the wickedness of the uh, of the two-thirds of our people and these other nations all right who also took the mark as well but mainly the two-thirds will have to be destroyed here in Babylon the Great and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast all right and the elect will have the victory over the beast by not submitting to it and over his image uh-huh which is the NWO all right NATO in the EU and over his karagma which is the which is a huge part of not taking the karagma, the badge of servitude, and over the number of his name, the 666. All right. Stand and um, stand on the sea of glass over the harvest of over the harvest of the most high. And how will the elect and how shall I stand over the sea of glass? By the way of the chariots. All right. By the way of the chariots. And we're going to look down from the chariot. It's going to be a see-through floor. And we, we're going to see from the outer space that America is destroyed. And also, the land of Israel had to be purified as well. Because it is taken over by, uh, by, uh, by the small hats. All right? Who claim to be the holy people. So... I hope this class was edifying to the elect. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Kakadash. Till next time, I say, Shalom.